Hi everybody! Welcome to Music Moves for Piano Book 2, Unit 1, and congratulations! You have made it to Book 2. I'm so excited that we're here. Book 2 is going to look a lot like Book 1. It's going to feel very familiar, but make sure that you don't get rid of your Book 1. I want to make sure to remind you because we're going to keep using that for review until we're about halfway through Book 2. So just like normal, we're going to start with the duple meter song. Bum, 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 sing with me. Duple meter moves in two, moves in two, moves in two. Duple meter moves in two, move in two with me. And chant macro beats on do. Do, 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 micro beats. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day. Echo me, please. Do, to, do, day, do, day, do. Do, to, do, day, do, day, do. Do, to, day, to, do, day, do, day, to, do. Do, to, day, do, day, do, day, to, do. Do do to do day do ta to do do to do day do ta to do. I'm gonna sing a song called Fox Terrier two times. Ba ba bum ba 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 bum bum bum. Would you please glue your feet to the floor and move like you're bouncing on a trampoline with your arms waving in the air as you bounce. Bum 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 ba 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 bum 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 ba bum 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 ba 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 bum bum ba 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 bum bum ba bum. This time, would you move the same way, but clap with me on the rests or the silent parts? Bum 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 bum. Festive dance two times. Do, so, me, do, ti, do. Would you please stay in one spot but move like you're swimming? This time, would you remain stationary, stay in one spot, move like you're floating underwater? Think about how that feels. We're going to do some rhythm patterns in duple meter, and you're just going to echo me on these rhythm patterns. Do day do, echo me please. Do to day to do day do day to do. Do to do day do to day to do day. Do day to do day do day to do day. Do to day, do to day, do day to do. Our song to sing for this unit is Old Woman. Do, so, so, me, do, ti, do. While I sing this song, would you do a strong dance like you're pushing an 80 mile an hour wind with your arms. Ooh, that's going to take a lot of energy. Takes whole body engagement to push against that wind. This song has two phrases. 
two big sections. Would you please go ahead and move however you would like and then change movements on the second phrase. <clears throat> Bum bum bum, here I go. Bum 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 bum, bum bum ba 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 bum bum bum, ba bum bum ba bum bum ba 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 bum bum bum. Now this time I'm going to move, and I'll change movements on the second phrase, and then you can see where that happens. Bum 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 ba 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 bum bum bum. Go ahead and echo these rhythm patterns. These two patterns are in the song. Do, day, do, here we go. Do, do, day, do, do, day. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Those are the only rhythm patterns in the whole song. We're going to chant those back and forth in a response. So I'm going to chant, do, do, day, do, do, day. You get to respond with, do, day, do, day, do, day, do. So let's practice your response. Let's chant that again. Here we go. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do. Now I'll chant mine and you respond with that. Here I go. Do, do, day, do, do, day. Do, day, do. Now we're going to trade. I'll have you chant the first one. Do, do, day, do, do, day. And I'll respond with the other rhythm. So let's practice your part. You're chanting. Do, do, day, do, do, day. Now you get to chant that and I'll respond to you. Do, day, do, ready, chant. Do day, do day, do day, do. Do you hear macro, micro beat patterns or division patterns in this piece? So these are macro, micro beat patterns. Since we have all do's and do days, we don't have any ta's in there. Do to day, do data, or do to data. Those would be divisions. Go ahead and echo these tonal patterns after me. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. On solfege. So me do. So me do. Re fa. Re fa. Mi re do. Mi re do. This first pattern, so me do is a tonic major pattern. Can you audiate the song, hear this song in your head, discover how many times this pattern happens in the song? So, me, do. So this pattern happens two times and then the song repeats. So the pattern, the first time, so mi do, so mi do, bum bum ba ba bum bum bum. And then we go back and we do that whole thing again. So mi do, so mi do, bum bum ba ba bum bum bum. I also realized that I was thinking about this just now in a different way than I think the writer was thinking about this. So back a little bit ago when we had that activity where you got to change your movements at a different phrase, I was thinking of the entire song, I think, as one phrase. So if you changed your movement at this place, this is absolutely correct. So I changed my movements. Bum, 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 b
I change. But if you change here, absolutely that's right. So then you could say that the song is those two phrases and you repeat all of that. So if that's where you changed your movements before, absolutely. That's where two phrases are happening in this song. Rethinking it as we go through. So now, whoop, being a little flat, I'm going to sing the whole song. I'd like you to listen for do so mi do ti do. Listen for re fa bum bum. Go ahead and sing that with me. Bum bum. Bum bum bum. Here I go. Bum 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 bum. Bum bum ba 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 ba. Bum bum bum. I'll just do that much. So in that amount, the pattern happened once. Bum 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 bum. Bum bum. Re 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 fa. Bum bum bum. And notice that when we had that, our re happened several times in a row. Re 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 fa. That's totally a normal thing that can happen with our patterns. And let's listen for one other pattern. Bum bum bum. Mi re do. Go ahead and sing it on bum. Bum bum bum. I'll sing that part again and see if you can hear where that pattern happens. Bum bum bum. Here I go. Bum 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 ba ba bum bum bum. And here's where it is. Bum 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 ba ba mi re do. Right at the end. So in fact, this whole song is made up of those three tonal patterns. So mi do, so mi do, re 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 fa mi re do. Right in a row. Go ahead and sing the song with me on bum, and then we're going to listen for some chord changes. Bum bum bum, sing with me. Bum 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 ba 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 bum bum bum. Bum 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 ba 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 bum bum bum. Now we're going to show where the tonic and dominant chord changes are for this song. So I'm going to sing this again, and I'm going to have you just show tonic and dominant. If you have no idea what that's about, our tonic chords sound like do mi so. So our pattern so mi do that would have a tonic chord with it. Our pattern re 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 fa or re fa would be a dominant pattern because our dominant chord is so ti re fa. Then at the end, mi re do. That pattern has, is a little bit trickier. For that pattern, we're going to go dominant and then back to tonic. So, here's what it sounds like. Bum bum bum, sing with me. Bum 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 bum, bum bum ba 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 ba, bum bum bum. Bum 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 bum, bum bum ba 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 ba, bum bum bum. Here's what our root harmony sounds like if I'm playing it while we sing. I'm going to play Do for tonic and T for dominant. Bum bum bum, sing with me. Bum 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 bum, bum bum ba 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 ba, bum bum bum. Bum 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 bum, bum bum ba 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 ba, bum bum bum. Would you please join me? We're going to sing the root harmony. Sounds like this. Do, do, ti, ti, do, 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 ti, ti, do. Go ahead and sing that with me. Bum, 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 sing with me. Do, do, ti, ti, do, 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 ti. Let's do that one more time. Let me see. What can I do here? We're going to sing that while I play the melody. Bum, 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 sing with me. Do, do, ti, ti, do. Do, do, ti, ti, do. I love harmonizing.
rising. I think it's so lovely. It really brings the song together. I'm going to play a piece. This is Stepping Stones. This is something you're going to learn in the next unit. I'd like you just to move a couple of times while I play this. So the first time, would you move your shoulders and your hips very lightly while you listen to Stepping Stones? large motions when you hear the second part of the song begin. So you're starting with these light, small movements and change to large movements when you hear the second part of the song. Here I go. before we all come to the keyboard here. Bum, 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 sing with me. Triple now feel as we're moving in three. Moving in three, moving in three. Triple now feel as we're moving in three. Move now in triple with me. And chant macro beats on do. Do, 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 micro beats. Do, da, di, do, da, di, do, da, di, do, da, di. I'll chant macro beats. You chant micro beats. Do, 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 switch. Do, da, di, do, da, di, do, da, di, do, da, di. Echo me, please. Do, da, di, do, do, da, di, do. Do, do, da, dee, do, da, dee, do, da, dee. Do, 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 da, dee, do. Do, da, dee, do, 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 da, dee. I'm going to sing a song called French Cradle Song. Do, so. Would you move in a rocking way? to sing a song called Polish Folk Song. Would you sing the resting tone? I'm going to sing Polish Folk Song two times. The first time, would you move your whole body like you're floating in space? When I stop singing, freeze and sing. Would you pretend that you're a tree and leaves are falling from your branches? I'm going to sing some tonal patterns in minor. And what I'd like for you to do is to sing back your own pattern. So for example, let's see what our tonic is. La, la, si, la. 
if I'm singing la mi la, you could sing mi la mi. So you could reverse it. If I'm singing la mi la, you could also do mi la do mi. Ooh, you could sing a different tonic chord. If I'm singing la mi la, you could sing mi si ti. So you sing back something different than I sing. All right, here we go. La mi la. Mi si ti. Mi la do. I'd love for you to have the opportunity to practice this more this week. This is kind of a different way to go about these patterns. So you could go to the pattern CD and you could look at minor tonality, tonic and dominant, tonal syllables, the very track. Oh no, I bet there was an extra space. I thought this one was the one for this week. So you could listen to track 10 on the pattern CD and you could echo those patterns and then you could listen to it again and you could come up with your own patterns. So try that for more practice, listen to track 10 on the pattern CD and come up with your own patterns as response. Same thing with the rhythm patterns that we did earlier. You could do pattern CD track eight and you could also do probably the one for this week. So you could do pattern CD track eight to practice some of those rhythm patterns. All right, one more thing before we come to the keyboard. I'm going to move here and I'm going to play a song while you move. This is ping pong. Can you please pat your hands in the air using large arm movements? And I'm going to take a look in here just to make sure that I'm starting on the correct key. All right, so large arm movements, just pat your hands in the air. This time, would you sway from side to side in a strong way, like you're dodging a ball? piano go ahead and come to the piano check your distance from the keyboard check your height if you need to so that your arm is parallel to the floor and make sure that you have with you your music most for piano book two which is the green book and also your music most for piano book one which is the yellow book so make sure you have both of those you're going to need both of those as well as something to write with so we're going to start by reviewing the C major scale. This is in book one on page 46. So we're going to start with the left hand. We're going to do five fingers. And then you cross over to your middle finger. To come back down, you have those three notes. And you cross your thumb under on so. sure that you practice that this week use a separated touch and for the right hand you have three fingers and your thumb crosses under on fa go ahead and finish all the way up to do to come back down we play five fingers down to your thumb cross over on your middle finger on me now remember when c is do a is la. So we're going to play and sing. Do, la. Go ahead and 
can sing that with me. Do, la. Now play on the piano. Do, la. So for A minor, we're going to play the arpeggio, the tonic arpeggio, and that sounds like this. to sing the short version of the arpeggio and I'm going to play it up here because this is the same register where we're singing. So we're going to sing la, do, mi, do, la. Go ahead and sing that with me. La, do, mi, do, la. And then play that just the same way that we're singing it. the C major arpeggio. So this is the arpeggio that starts on C. And for this one, we're going to sing the short version. Do, mi, so, mi, do. Go ahead and join me in singing that. Do, mi, so, mi, do. We're also going to sing the long version. Do, mi, so, do, so, mi, do. Go ahead and join me in singing that. Do, mi, so, do, so, mi, do. Let's play both of those versions. So we're going to play the short version while we sing again. Do, mi, so, mi, do. And then for the high do, we're going to use your left hand to play that high do for the long version. Do, mi, so, do, so, mi, do. So make sure when you're practicing these, you're also practicing singing them. So those are in your student book one on pages 46 and 46 and 47. And does it also go over to 48? Oh, 45, 45 to 47. So pages 45 to 47 in your student book one. So mark down those pages. If you'll notice, go ahead and turn to book two, the green book, page one, which is not actually the first page. You have some introductory pages here. The one that's actually page number one, number one. If you look over on the left side of the page, up here under keyboard geography and technique, it says review the C major scale and tonic arpeggio and also review the A minor tonic arpeggio. So go ahead and circle those because that's, that's part of your assignment for this week. So you can do that instead of writing it down in your assignment book. You can circle that right here on page one in book two. If you want, you can also write down uh, pages 45 to 47. You can write that over here. We're going to do a little bit of prep for stepping stones. So we're going to play an F sharp major arpeggio. So for this one, I was wondering, and I didn't look before I started, if there was an arpeggio for F sharp. There's not an arpeggio written for F sharp, but if you turn to book one, page 52, and look at that, you can see Do, Mi, So. that with your left hand and then with your right hand and then we just go up to do so we can find an arpeggio in F sharp major. Now we're going to do that same thing but we're going to do it just with one hand. So I'm going to use my left hand. I'm trying to practice not always starting with my right hand. So I'm going to play that whole thing with my middle finger and my left hand, moving my whole hand together. And I'd like for you to try this. It really makes me look at those keys and find them on the piano. So go ahead, if you weren't doing that while I was playing, pause this and make sure you try that. And then we're going to do it with the right hand. So here we're doing it with the other hand. You could have started with the right hand and are doing the left hand now. That's fine too. 
So go ahead and play that arpeggio with me using your middle finger of whichever hand you're using. Whole arpeggio, one hand. Here we go. So now there's one other thing that we're going to do in F sharp major here. When F sharp is Do, we're going to play Do with this hand, your right hand, and So with the, this hand, the left hand. So we're going to play Do, So, Do. And remember, you can look at this same page to find where So is if you're not sure where to find So. So go ahead and pause this if you need to and then practice with me. Do, So, again together. Do, so, do. Now we're going to play do, so, do. Ooh, we're going to cross over. Do, so, do. Now I want you to find one other so. Your left hand's crossed over. It's going to go an octave higher than that. It's going to go So is really high. See if you can find that. That's going to be useful to us in our next unit. We're going to do some exploration, creativity, and improvisation. So we're going to look at book two. I know you've got a couple of books you're shuffling around right now. Book two, unit one, page one. Page one in your book. Notice up at the top, it says for division and division elongation patterns, we have a new rhythm syllable that we're really diving into. The syllable for any sound in duple or triple meter that is not a macrobeat or a microbeat is ta, or ta, depending on where it falls in the pattern. So, duta, data, dita, we could be in triple meter. In duple meter, we could say duta, data. And notice that appears in all of these patterns, these division patterns. We have do today, there's a ta, do data, do data, or in these division elongation patterns, do, do ta, or do ta, or do ta ta. We could have the same thing in triple meter, do ta da ta di ta, or do da ta di. Or do ta da di, or do da di ta. We have ta in all of those triple division patterns. And then here are some triple division elongation patterns do ta di, do ta di, do ta 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 di. So all of these patterns have ta as part of the pattern. So notice that just add that to your repertoire of things. Repertoire is, a repertoire is the amount of stuff that's in your head for a certain topic. That's very untechnical language, but that's really what it is. It's the amount of stuff that you have in your head for one topic. So this is added to your repertoire for rhythm pattern syllables. Okay, then the Exploration, creativity, improvisation on that page. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to move in duple meter, chant a four macro beat duple meter rhythm pattern that uses divisions. Play that on one key and immediately audiate or think that rhythm pattern. That's going to make two phrases. So we're going to play it on one key and then audiate the pattern. Then we're going to use some notes from the C major tonic and dominant chords to improvise a melody that has two phrases using the same rhythm pattern two times. Okay, so let's do this first part together. Because we're in a format where I can't hear you, I'm going to come up with a rhythm pattern. So this is duple meter. Do, day, do, here I go. Do, day, to do, day, do, day, do. Do, day, to do, day, do, day, do. Now, we're going to do one key and then we're going to think it. 
Here we go. Do day do day do day do day do. Audiate. Do day do day do day do. We just made two phrases. So we're gonna use this same idea. Can you play our tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence when C is do? So there's our there are our tonic chord. There's our tonic chord, and then so T. Notes from our dominant chord. So, fa, re, ti. That's all four notes from our dominant chord. Do, re, do is back to our tonic. So use these notes to improvise a melody. So I'm going to give you an example of what that could sound like. Use the same rhythm pattern two times. Make sure you start on C, do, and end on C, do. Do day do here I go. Do day to do day do day do. And I think that melody was happy, a very happy melody. So you go ahead and pause and you can either use this rhythm pattern that I'm about to chant or you can come up with your own. So if you want to use this rhythm pattern, here it is again. Here we go. Do, day to do, day, do, day, do. Pause. Also, I want you to notice, this is something that we're going to start to see. Remember how I showed you the left side of the page for the keyboard geography and technique? Well, there's stuff over here for exploration, creativity, and improvisation. And this is stuff we're not going to find other places in the book. So number one here under exploration, creativity, improvisation, chant a two macro beat triple meter division elongation pattern. Play the pattern on one piano key, then audiate or hear in your head the rhythm pattern. So just two macro beats long division elongation. So I'll help you with this, and then I want you to pause and do either the same pattern that I did or come up with your own. Do da dee do, here I go. Do ta dee do da dee, here I go. Do ta dee do da dee, do ta dee do da dee. Now you, I want you to pause this and use the same rhythm pattern or come up with your own. There you go. And then look at number two. It says improvise with a rhythm pattern in duple meter. Use tones from an A minor triad. So go ahead and find A. Find those three keys. Hello. Yes, you are helping. Thank you. So we're going to use a rhythm pattern in duple meter, any pattern that you want. And then I want you to go ahead and pause and do this yourself. So here's an example of what this could sound like. Do, day, do, here I go. Do, day, do, day, do, today, do. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do. I'd like for you to go ahead and do this and you can use that rhythm pattern or come up with your own. There you go. And then there are a couple more things that are not in your book anywhere. So make sure you circle those things. Make sure you're practicing those this week as part of your exploration, creativity, improvisation. And here are two more projects that you just get to do right now with me. So we're gonna take those same A minor triad tones play our A minor triad arpeggio. Go ahead and pause and do that if you didn't get to do that just now with me. We're going to sing our A minor tonic syllables. That's la, do, mi. Go ahead and sing that with me. La, do, mi. Now I'm going to play this in a different order and I'd like you to help me sing it back. like for 
for you now to pause the video. You play those three tones in any order and sing them either while you're playing or after you're playing with syllables. Go ahead and pause. And then our last improv project for this unit is I'm going to give you a rhythm pattern. We always have a cool rhythm pattern to improvise with. So I'd like for you to echo this rhythm pattern with your voice and then improvise using any piano keys anywhere on the keyboard. So I'm not going to do this. I'm going to give you the pattern and then you improvise anywhere on the keyboard. Do, day, do. Echo me, please. Do, day, to do, day. Do, to day, to do. Do, day, to do, day. Do, to day, to do. And play. Do, day, to do, day. Do, to day, to do. If you want, you can go back and watch that part again. And then if you want to prep some certain notes, you can get those ready and then play that improvisation again. Or if you remember the rhythm, you can do that again. Now I'd like for you, I'm going to tell you what to do here and then I want you to pause and do this. We're going to get duple meter going and I want you to play a four macro beat division rhythm pattern on one key and then answer yourself by playing a different division pattern on a different key. So for example, you could look like this. Here, do, day, do, here I go. Do, day, do, day, do, to, day, to, do. Do, day, to, do, day, do, day, do. So you come up with two rhythm patterns, one in each hand, they both have divisions. Go ahead and pause and do that. And then we're going to review. So since we're in unit one of book two, all of our review is gonna be back to book one. So go ahead and get your yellow book out. We're gonna start with reviewing Down Came a Lady. This is on page 54 in your book. So we did this one last time. I'm just gonna play this melody for you so you, you can remember what it sounds like. Do, day, do, here I go. So remember the rhythm for the first part, do, day, to do, day, do, day, do. and play that part and then the second phrase of the song the beginning part is just a little bit different go ahead and practice that second phrase let's go ahead and play the whole song together do, day, do, ready, play. Now, we didn't talk about this last time. I'd like for you to play that melody in your left hand. And if you already did this last time, you can do it again. It's good practice. So play this in your left hand. It can be lower or you can move yourself over to do it in the same range. I'm going to play the accompaniment with you while you do this. Do, day, do, ready, play now. Oh, I don't know if I can do that with my hands crossed. Oh, that's pretty cool. I bet I can do it. We'll try again. Day, do, ready, play. exercise. All right, so I'd like you to play the melody in your left hand and last time we had looked at the accompaniment. So let's go ahead and look at this. This is going to use two hands. Notice that there are two 
things, oh, hi, sorry, under accompaniment. At the top, we have do, so, la, and then at the bottom, we have the tonic and dominant changes. So we're looking at this top one first. So remember, you're playing do, do. tonic and dominant changes and this is just in one hand we did last time for tonic and D for dominant and here's what that sounded like Just that left hand tonic and dominant changes. Bum, 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 ready, play. So go ahead now, see if you can play hands together. You could even try playing do the same time you do. that by itself and then you could do not so bad then you could do the third pattern and then go ahead and practice that by itself so try doing that hands together this week and what that means is over on the left side here you're going to mark today's date by the accompaniment. If you have it marked already, you can mark it again so that you can practice that this, this week. And then hands together. Make sure you mark that and try that. If you really cannot get that together, that's okay. We can work on that in our group class check-in. And then the other thing I'd like you to do this week with this song is we're gonna play it in a new keyality. So we're gonna play this song when G is Do. So, Try that in your non-dominant hand, which for me is my left hand. Now we're going to play when C is Do. Do, day, do, ready, play. Mark down two new keyalities, new keyality G and new keyality C, or new tonic. And then turn the book over. We're going to look at springtime one and springtime two. So let's go ahead and just review the melody. So do they do, here I go. pattern going from do on up to so and back to do me so let's go ahead and try that first half do they do ready play do, me, so. the second half of the song is so on down to do and back to so so do let's try that part starting on so bum 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 play with me Springtime one, springtime two, same thing. Except at the ending, we go so, ti, do. Let's play 
springtime too. Bum bum bum, play with me. So here's what I'd like you to add this time. Make sure you play the melody in your left hand. springtime two in your left hand as well and then we're going to add the one note chord changes so if you see under the box it says tonic and dominant changes there are two options there's on the left side you have do t on the right side you have do and so or t and so we're going to do this one on the left it's do and t so here's what those chord changes sound like do. just those chord changes. Make sure your thumb is on Do, point your fingers on T. Play those chord changes while I play the melody. Ba, 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 play with me. Do, 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 do. Play that again while I play springtime too. Ba, 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 play with me. down accompaniment and if you can try playing that hands together and then I'd like you to try this in two new chialities so I suggest that you try it in G major so find when G is do play your tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence before you start springtime two in G major and then I'd love for you to try F sharp major this is the one that we used for down came a lady so for this one they're all black keys except for Do, Re, Mi, Fa and Fa is the only white key your F sharp major tonic dominant, dominant tonic melodic cadence from page 52 and then you can play springtime one and springtime two in F sharp major if you're not sure how to draw a sharp to write new chiality F sharp you can look at page 52 and see how to draw a sharp it looks like a hashtag or if you're old like me it looks like a pound sign what pound sign uh, that's all for that. Now we've got our unit reviews. So we're looking all the way back at unit 11. It's a long way back in the book. This is page 33. We're looking at sneaking. And the last thing that we have left for sneaking are the rhythm pattern. Hmm. It looks like the rhythm pattern is all that we have left. Yes, that's right, because we did the tonal pattern last time. Yes, we skipped we skipped the rhythm pattern last time and did the tonal pattern. So go ahead and chant with me the rhythm while I play sneaking. Do, day, do, ready, chant. chant those by yourself pause and then I'd like for you to perform that by playing it on one key hold up your fingers one two three and four to follow along with the patterns and then go ahead and create with that so you do that yourself and then mark those down with today's date and then we're looking at 
beginning on page 35. This is in unit 12. And I went back and looked. And if you were doing videos with me for earlier units, we have done almost everything for spinning already. So we're going to review the solo because it's been a long time since we looked at this. And then all we have left, I think, is the tonal patterns. So here's spinning. Major tonality, duple meter. Do is G. This one it has T Do in the left hand, and then it goes to and it follows that same thing, but the hands split apart. You notice, just like we did with sneaking, we're not going to sing these octave jumps. So the way that we would sing this would be. Something caught in my throat. So let's go ahead and sing that together. That's sing tonal pattern. For perform tonal pattern, we're going to sing it the same way that we just, we're going to play it the same way that we just sang it without the jumps. So it'll be like this. play it that way. And then to create with the tonal pattern, you add some kind of rhythm to this. I would start by not trying to add any specific rhythm, just add something in. And remember, just like with sneaking, you can change the rhythm to create with the tonal pattern, you can also change the register, which is what they did in the original song. They were together, and then one hand moved, and then the other hand joined. That was the original way. So you could do, you can go backwards. You could do, So you could try changing the register. You could move your hands this way, move your hands that way. Try some different cool patterns and see what you can come up with. The other thing you can do if you want is you can try adding a rhythm pattern like do today, do day, do today, do day, do today, do day. one new thing for create with tonal pattern every day that you practice between now and when you have your group class check-in and I would love to see some of the interesting things that you've come up with for that. So mark all of those down and you get to put stickers on unit 11 and on unit 12 for this week. Woohoo! Because we have done so much review from before. So if there's anything you haven't done on spinning, Go ahead and do that this week. You can look all the way back. If you need some help with the rhythm patterns for this song, I don't think you will. But if you do, you can look all the way back at the video for book one, unit 14, which is when we did the review that included the rhythm patterns. And last but not least, we have a song to learn. This is one you probably know already, at least in your ears. So I'm going to play this. You move to macro beats, figure out if the micro beats are duple moves in two or triple moves in three. So this is in duple meter. Let's go ahead and chant do day do. Here we go. 
tonality. This is in major tonality. Can you audiate the resting tone? Do, ba, ba, ba. This song has four little parts or four patterns. There are two phrases or big sections and each of those phrases has two little parts or patterns. So I'm going to sing this in a different key because that gets really high. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. I'm going to sing the first pattern. So this is the first of our four little parts of the song. Ba, 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 ba. And I'd like for you to echo that back after me. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. This sounds very familiar. Now, here's half of the next pattern. Ba, 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 ba. And then here's the ending. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Here are some tonal patterns that happen in the song. Do, mi, so, mi, do, ti, do. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Um, on solfege those, solfege, those patterns are so me, so me, me la, me la, and so do, so do. So we're going to figure out where those tonal patterns happen in the song. I'm going to show you the tonal patterns that are in the first phrase. This is the first half of the song. So we have so me, and then we have me la with some repeated notes. So so me la so me. So we have so so me, and then me la so me. The beginning tonal pattern of the second phrase is the same as the beginning tonal pattern of the first phrase. So, so, me, la, so, me. Or over here, so, me, so, me. But the rhythm is different. At the beginning, it's so, so, me. And then in the second phrase, it's so, me. What's the pattern that's at the end of the first phrase? Ba, 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 ba. That pattern is so, me. And then what's the pattern at the end of the second phrase? Bum, bum, bum. That's so do. Notice that so me and so do are both tonic major patterns or major tonic patterns. So here's what I'd like for you to do. Go ahead and get back to your book two. I know we just did a lot of stuff in book one and turn to page two in book two. This is Ring Around the Rosie. Go ahead and get that set up at the keyboard. Get yourself to the piano. Check your distance if you're not already there. Find the keys that you need for this piece. We're using G major. And this is the G that is above middle C which means that our so is right next to treble C. That's where we are in the piano. Let's play our G major tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence. I'm going to use my left hand because I want to practice using the left hand more. using four notes and you're going to start with so in your ring finger that way you can play la so we're going to do the very beginning pattern of this song and that is here i go the rhythm is do to day to do day so we're going to 
play that. Go ahead and take a little bit, try to find that. And then play that with me while we chant divisions. Do to date to do to date to ready, play and chant. Do to date to do to date to. Let's do that again. Ready, play. Do to date to do to date to. Can you play that two times in a row while we chant division? Do to date to do to ready, play. Do to date to do to date to. Do to date to do to date to. Now we're doing our second melodic pattern. Do to data do to data. Notice how these are not divisions anymore. We're back to our micro beats. Data do to data. Song me, song me. Go ahead and play that while we chant do to data. Here we go. Do to data do to data. And then let's do the ending. Your arm carry your thumb over to do instead of going like that. So, so, do. Let's go ahead and play the whole song. Do day do ready play. The introduction is pretty cool. It's a do today ready play. And I want to show you we have three partner patterns that go with this song. So if you look at the middle of the page, partner one, partner two, and partner three. So I want to show you what those patterns look like. Partner one plays divisions, partner two plays micro beats, and partner three plays macro beats. So partner one is going to be on treble, the G that's above treble C. It's in between treble C and high C. And you can use your, probably your pointer finger and your ring finger. Go ahead and play that pattern. Do today, ready, play. Do today, to 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 do today, but you're on micro beats. Do to day to do day ready play. Do day do day do day do day do day do And then partner three is going to play on macro beats. This is in the bass register. So your Do is in between bass C and low C, between Sol is right next to bass C. You're going to play Do, 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 ready, play. today's date by the melody. Try the melody in your left hand. For that last note, you're going to have to use your arm to carry you over to that last note. Mark those two down and also mark with partner and practice the partner one, which is divisions. You can write that in there if you want, divisions. Partner two, micro beats, and partner three, macro beats. And practice, either you can come back to this part, point on the video, or you can go to track two on the audio tracks that go with this book. By the way, you're gonna need to download the audio tracks for book two, yay! 
So when you have your group class check-in, we will do that together if we haven't already so that you can have your audio tracks to listen to this book. So make sure you play that with track two so that you can play along. All right, as a wrap up to look at everything, remember we reviewed units 12 and 11 in book one. Remember that the stickers on the cover show you what units we've done, so you can mark off units 11 and 12 in book one. Remember that you need to mark everything that we did today over on the lesson side, today being however many days it took you to look through this. Mark whatever today's date is on the lesson side and check the items on the home side whenever you practice them at home. So you have a whole bunch of different check marks when you've worked on something. Make sure you listen regularly to the recording here and also to the pattern CD. This week we added track 13. So make sure you're listening to track 13. I also gave you some suggestions earlier for practicing patterns. Make sure you improvise and create every day. Always be creating something new. There are some wonderful ideas here on page one of your new book and you also can come up with your own ideas to improvise and create every day. Make sure you chant rhythm patterns when you play and pay special attention to the left side of this page in unit one and that will tell you all of your assignments for this week. Thank you so much for joining me for Music Moves for Piano book two, unit one, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks, bye.